So today is Saturday, the 28th of October. Correct. For me, it's day 153 of 167 day run across America. So from the Canadian border, Blaine, Washington, to Fort Lauderdale, uh, it is a third, about 3,600 mile run on foot, solo, pushing a jogging stroller, big American flag. And you're stopping in big cities and small towns and thanking veterans from all eras with the emphasis on World War II veterans because they're okay. all approaching 100 years old. Best six of them so far. Uh, I'm not a veteran myself, but this is my way to say thank you. As okay. a giant thank you, a big exclamation point. Uh, and getting this flag through. How many miles do you have logged? I'm about 3,400 miles so far. Wow. Got about 250 left. Wow. Two weeks left. You know what everybody wants to know? When you're done running and you're tired, what do you do? At the end of the run? Yes, sir. You got to keep running a little bit after because it's in your, it's, it becomes your, your habit daily. You, you can't stop cold, right? Yeah, uh, you can't stop cold. It's bad because you have so many endorphins, adrenaline, testosterone that if you cut it cold, it'll you'll go into a chemical depression. So that's more of the physical end. But after the run, you know, you time to reflect. Um, it's been a long journey. It's been amazing, you know, with the American people, of course, the American veteran. Uh, you're going across uh, deserts, mountain ranges, looking at sunsets. You've seen all the, like I said, all the small towns. I haven't thought yet what it's like after the run. I've done three runs before, but that was a while ago. It was about a decade ago. I did three runs across America. This is my fourth run across the United States. You're like a real live Forrest Gump. Yeah, I'm he with the beer. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> This one's a this one's a special one, you know. We're America's not free and as prosperous as we are now in 2023 without the generations of military men and women, all the way back to the founding of our country. So just want to say thanks. Uh, the flag itself was flown by the Air Force this year in Saudi Arabia. Wow. On a KC-10 extender, so they've tasked me with getting it from coast to coast and don't let it touch the ground. Uh, I met. Uh, Congressman Bill Arrakis before on previous runs, and he's been very wonderful. State of Florida. I could go on, but he's had, he has been doing quite a bit for veterans, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. I've been solid, following up on him, and uh, he's a solid guy. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah he does uh, a lot for many different groups of. of yeah, it's pretty hard to sway me because I'm an independent, but he kind of swayed me a long time ago. Oh, he's one of the best congressmen you have up there. Yes, you know, sir. I've known him for over a decade now. And I mean, I've been across 42 different states, met many elected officials, and um, well, some are questionable, but he's not. He's as solid as you can get for an American lawmaker, American congressman. Uh, he's also the head of the Rare Diseases Caucus. I was very passionate on my previous runs about helping out the 30 million Americans with rare diseases, and many of those are military families. So this was a continuation of my previous runs. And like I said, met many lawmakers across America, all the way back to 2011. And just happened to be running through the district. And uh, uh, I just think very highly of him. Wonderful. Uh, salt of the earth. He's one of my favorite people to meet. Well, I'm a veteran and I'd like to thank you for your service. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah.